What's up guys, it's James here, and in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the top three must-have tech tools for your Airbnb or short-term rental property. Now, before we dive in, if you are interested in learning more about investing successfully into short-term rental properties, buying some of these properties and earning incredible cash flow and incredible returns on your investment, then check out the link in the description down below for a free training on that. If you're interested in earning a full-time income managing other people's properties on Airbnb and short-term rental without having to buy, rent, furnish any properties at all or spend your own money out of pocket up front to get started, then I highly recommend you check out that free training that's linked in the description down below. Um, both of those trainings are completely free. We're going to give you some tools when you register for either one of them that are going to help you to expand, help you to succeed, help you to get started with either short-term rental investing or short-term rental management, depending on which path is best for you. So again, those links are in the description down below. Both trainings are completely free and I highly recommend you register for them. We're going to walk through everything step by step by step so you can avoid mistakes and you can accomplish your goals much faster. That being said, let's get started. Let's dive right into it. Oh, Actually, before I forget one other thing, I've been looking recently and I've seen that a lot of you guys watching these videos are not yet subscribed to the channel. So with that said, if you're watching this, just keep it in mind. There's a subscribe button there. If at any point throughout this video, you think, hey, I like this video. I wanna watch more videos like this. I maybe wanna watch like maybe two videos a week maybe about something like making money on Airbnb and maybe I wanna learn from this guy, then hey, you can just click that subscribe button and you can do exactly that. I post two new videos every single week on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And so if you're interested in learning more about making money on Airbnb, then it might just be beneficial. Maybe hit that subscribe button. All that said, let's get started. Let's jump into the very first tool, my favorite tool for Airbnbs, which is the August lock. Now, there's a whole bunch of different options out there if you wanna have automated guest check-in, but none of them, in my opinion, are as great as the August lock. Yes, it's a little bit more pricey, but in my world, it is well worth the investment um, at about $300, $400, depending on what system you get and kind of how you set it up. Um, let me walk you through the August lock and why I think it's so amazing. And by the way, I also want to mention that I'm not sponsored by any of the companies I'm going to be mentioning, but if any of the companies are watching, I'm not not wanting to be sponsored. So I'd love a sponsorship, but I actually am just authentically sharing my thoughts. Um, the links in the description, I'm actually not gonna leave links to these. You can just Google them. Um, so there's no affiliate links, there's no promotion, nothing like that. Um, August Lock is a tool that I've been using. I've got one on my own home and I get and I use them on all my short-term rental properties and I really, really love them. Basically the way that it works is it's a smart lock. Um, so it allows you to uh, unlock the door for, for the property uh, via your smartphone and you can do it from anywhere in the world if you've got the Wi-Fi Connect version, which all the new versions have now. Um, and so you can basically just unlock the door from anywhere in the world, uh, which is pretty sweet. Uh, it means that you're never gonna have to go to the property and unlock the door for the guest because something failed. Uh, you can just unlock it remotely and lock it again as well. So if your cleaners leave or someone leaves and the door is left unlocked, you'll know and you can then lock it from your phone. So a lot of peace of mind there, but it gets so much better than that. The really cool piece about August lock specifically, because lots of locks will do that and have that Wi-Fi lock, op lock option, the August lock actually integrates directly with Airbnb, super cool. So basically the way that that works uh, is that you uh, just integrate the August lock that you have with your Airbnb account and then every single guest that books is automatically gonna get a, uh, a kind of access code created for them so that they can unlock the door from their smartphone and it'll only work from their check-in time till their check-out time. Um, so that way there's no more changing of codes constantly and generating new codes for new guests. It just means that they can check in with their smartphone um, and do it only for the lengths of their stay so that you don't have any security issues of guests potentially returning back after their stay. Um, so that's really cool. Now, the other thing I love about August Lock is that you can all also get an optional keypad that again, I have at all my properties um, and that just adds another redundancy. So if ever you have a guest that's not super tech savvy and they can't use their smartphone to unlock the door, then they can just use the keypad and same thing, you can set it up to create automatic key codes for each guest 
uh, that'll only work for a limited amount of time from their check-in to their checkout. So again, it just keeps everything super secure, super simple. Now, I always do recommend having a backup actual physical lockbox at the property where you keep a key so that in the event that there's a power outage or uh, you know the battery dies or anything electronic malfunctions as things do, you've just got a final backup in that lockbox. But the really nice thing that's cool about August Lock is that if you get it with the keypad, it's already got two different options, whether you open it from your smartphone or from the keypad, so makes it really cool. And then you have a lot of different backups. So August Lock is my number one tech tool recommendation for Airbnbs. And my second is gonna be the Noiseware. Now Noiseware is built specifically for Airbnb. So it's pretty cool. The way that it works is basically a noise monitoring device that allows you to monitor your property inside and out. It's pretty cool. They have an outdoor version as well. So if you've got people hanging out in the hot tub on a Tuesday night at 11 p.m., they're on holiday, your neighbors are not. So if they're being louder in the, in the backyard at 11 p.m., your neighbors are probably gonna be upset and you can make sure that you nip that in the butt before your neighbors have to reach out and complain to you, which is just gonna make sure that your relationships with your neighbors stay a lot better for a lot longer. So it's a win-win. Um, the way that it works, it basically just monitors the decibel level in your Airbnb or outside of your Airbnb. And if ever the noise gets above a certain specified decibel level for a certain specified length of time, then it's going to alert you and you can set it up with automations to send them messages, whatnot, um, to just ask them to quiet down. Uh, so it's pretty cool that it's built that way because then if someone drops a pot or a pan, it's not gonna set off the alarm. It's just gonna basically wait. If, and if there's a consistent amount of high volume, then it's gonna let you know. And and then you can reach out and preemptively resolve that issue. Um, now it is a noise monitoring device, not a recording device. So for our privacy concerns, it's not actually recording any of the audio, uh, which is great. But that being said, you do still have to disclose in your Airbnb listing um, if you have a noise aware active at the property. So just something to be aware of. The third tool that I love and that I recommend is the Nest thermostat. Um, Nest is just you know a very common uh, automatic or sort of smart thermostat. Uh, and what I just love about it, honestly, I personally like the Nest user interface. I use it myself, but I haven't tried out a lot of other smart thermostats, so I don't have any real attachment to this one specifically like I do with the August lock. Uh, but the Nest or having a smart thermostat just allows you to control the temperature of your property remotely, which is great because sometimes guests will jack up the heat or jack up the AC and you don't want that to keep running after the guests are not there. Uh, and if it's anything absolutely unreasonable, then you can just adjust it back down or back up remotely from your smartphone. So it's really cool. And that way when the guests leave, you can also make sure that you set it to a way um, and you can just make sure that you're running your electricity efficiently and not wasting a bunch of money heating or cooling a home that nobody's inside of. Um, so that's a really cool tool that I really love using as well is the Nest thermostat and it's super affordable. I think you can get them now for like under $100 or something for the basic one. Um, so that's a big one for me. Um, let me know in the comments down below if you have any tools, any tech tools that you love. I would love to check them out uh, and talk about them more on this channel. Um, so if you do have any uh, that you have questions about that you love, anything like that, just let me know in the comment section down below. Like I mentioned, the subscribe button has not gone anywhere. So if you haven't clicked it, then you probably should because if you're at this point in the video, then you probably enjoyed it. Don't deny it. Don't fight it any longer. Just press the subscribe button and stay up to date with this channel. We post two new videos every single week. Like I mentioned before, also like this video. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button. Uh, it really helps me out tremendously. And last but not least, of course, check out the free trainings that are linked down below. It's a total no brainer. They're literally free. They're completely free for you. So why not check them out? If you're interested in investing in Airbnbs or managing other people's properties on Airbnbs, then make sure you check out the links in the description down below to access those free trainings and get those free tools. That's all for today, folks. Um, if you enjoyed this video, then I am glad to hear that. I hope you did and I'll see you in the next video.